Welcome, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, on the 4th of January, we have a very special message for you from the Rhapsody of Realities titled, Promote His Righteousness. And reading from our theme scripture from Psalm chapter 75 verse 6, it says, For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. When God puts you in a particular job or business, His interest is not about the office or your designation. What matters to Him is how effective you are using your office to promote His righteousness. He wants your passion for the gospel and the establishment of His kingdom in the hearts of men and nations of the earth. Everywhere you are, be busy for the Lord. Stand for Him. You are His ambassador and a minister of reconciliation. And you can see this from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 20 to 21. What counts the most in your life is what you do with the gospel for the salvation of men, regardless of your vocation. The Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 23 commended certain individuals who were with him on his missionary journeys. He was proud of their commitment to the gospel and said, They are the messengers of the churches and the glory of Christ. What a testimony! Messengers of the churches and the glory of Christ. What an honour! It makes no difference where you are or what your vocation is. See yourself as a sent one, representing the church and the glory of Christ. Hallelujah! Preach the gospel. Minister the word to those in your world. The Bible says He has made you an able minister of the New Testament, not of the latter, but of the Spirit. For the latter kills, but the Spirit gives life. And you can see this from 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6. You are God's mouthpiece. Speak for Him. Do His work. Do great things for Him. Be bold. Let nothing keep you quiet. Keep bearing His message of faith, hope and love with urgency. For the end of all things is near. And you can read this in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 7. Wow, that was just wonderful. Now your life has a much greater meaning because in everything that you do, there is a purpose and intent and that is to promote His righteousness. Hallelujah! Now you may kindly repeat this prayer after me. Blessed Father, I thank you for the grace you have granted me to be relevant in the ministry of the gospel, preaching and spreading your righteousness around the world. My life is the testimony of your power as I bear witness of Christ and testify of his saving grace. In Jesus' name, Amen. Blessed be God. Now in the further study section, you can take note of the following scriptures to study very well. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 15, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 18, and Romans chapter 1 verse 16. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. I know you were inspired by this message from our man of God. So take what you have learned today and share it with those in your world today, whether in inviting them to subscribe to our channel or sending them a copy of this daily devotional from the link in our description in any language of their preference and watch as they get blessed. Remember, let everything you do be for the glory of Christ and in the reflection of His love. Tune in tomorrow for more amazing truths like this and we will see you again tomorrow. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart 
in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah! Congratulations! You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com That's tni.msia at gmail.com We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.